Let's go to uh, ChatGPT. Write an example of what I should say to introduce this video. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel dedicated to all things game design. In this video, I'm excited to share some updates with you all. I've just wrapped up shooting for a new video, and I can't wait for you all to see it. I'll give you a little sneak peek into what you can expect. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's dive into the latest updates in the world of game design. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm a person who really uh, is a big believer in iteration. Sometimes I over plan, sometimes I just over iterate without planning. So the amount of iteration that's been going on has been so much, which is a very good thing. Where we left off was we went to this abandoned area and we talked about how the look was not the right look for me to get. Instead, I was trying to think of a different place. Well, thankfully, I had just been at a friend's house and I discovered that their place was basically perfect for what I wanted to do. So I was like, dude, I want to shoot here. There was a specific camera that I wanted to use. The cameras that I'm working with right now, the one that I'm shooting on right now is the Canon Rebel T3i. It's very old. And then I have a Canon Rebel T2i over here. I've been working with these for over a decade now. Is that right? T2i 2010. Wow, that's crazy. I've always been really attached to really high quality cameras because I'm a cinematographer at heart and I really, really like that amount of control in my picture. With that being said, I was hoping that I could use someone else's camera uh, on the shoot. And thankfully Taylor said that he, he'd let me use his camera. So I needed to have one day that he was available, which he has his own stuff going on. So that's not easy. And a day that wasn't raining. Let's see if we can actually do this. Um, you can see it's a bit rainy right now, so I'm hoping that it's not rainy over at uh, the place that I'm shooting at. This was the only day that I could shoot and it was raining, but I was like, you know, whatever, let's just see if the rain lets up and we're gonna continue. The location that we were going to drive to was about 40 minutes away. I went to go get Taylor and he got his C70, which I was very excited to shoot on, and we headed out to the location. As soon as we got there, we're here at a property and it's very, very, very overcast, and I can feel it sprinkling, so we're gonna try to do this really, really quickly. It was really cold, and it was really windy, but it was not raining. Kay's got the uh, C70 out. Freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to do this as fast as possible. Uh, set up everything, you know, do all these shots. The idea was to do these little slider shots of Joe, and so what ended up happening was we would shoot, and it would start sprinkling just a little bit, and then it would let up. And it starts sprinkling, then lit up, and eventually it did just full on rain inside a barn thing, and it's raining outside. So we had to go into this little barn area, but thankfully the little barn was fine, you know, and it actually looked really cool because the, the play of the shadows with the sunlight looks really, really cool in that area. <laughs> But I didn't shoot as much as I wanted to because the barn didn't have enough angles for me to get to make it look abandoned because it it was still full of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in there. But we got a bunch of shots. The very next day, I put all that footage into editing. I made eight different versions. I'm a huge, huge nerd for storytelling. So the first edit that I had was just Joe, and then he would talk to me as my voice would come out of nowhere. Yes. What was wrong with the ending? Oh. Uh, well, I, I guess nothing specifically was wrong. It was just, it reminded me of, you know, the things that most narrative games seem to do all the time. And then I changed it to, okay, maybe I'll just have a shot of myself and I'm talking to him and then I'll cut in between the virtual space and, and me. Yes. What was wrong with the ending? Oh, uh, well, I, I guess nothing specifically was wrong. It was just, it reminded me of, you know, the things that most narrative games seem to do all the time. Then I tried another way where Joe would go into the virtual space and he would play clips of my talking. Now, I feel weird when I talk about this subject because I'm never sure if anyone actually understands what I'm talking about. After many versions of that and trying to figure out exactly what's happening, the edit just wasn't working out, not in the same way that I imagined. So like, like I said, iteration is a very, very important thing for me. So the overall reason why it wasn't working is because I really wanted the audience to be able to understand what it was that I was saying. But of course I needed visuals 
for that. And the visuals of just Joe being out in the open not doing anything doesn't really <laughs> illustrate anything, right? I kept finding myself to return back to the thing that I that I kept not wanting to do, which is showing game footage. I do kind of have to do it. So I was like, how do I make that work in a cinematography type of way? And I began this actually a long time ago. So if you saw my pre one of my previous updates, I talked about how I started a, a video series called Press Y to Start, and that was my first foray into YouTube. Well, my second foray into YouTube was uh, called Inside Out Gaming. And basically the reason why it was called Inside Out Gaming was because I knew I didn't want to mess with game footage, uh, but I knew I liked shooting with my camera. So I was like, why don't I shoot game footage on the TV using my camera? And what I found out was I still needed to show game footage in its entirety when I wanted to show certain things. And, and the issue with uh, putting putting the camera into like different angles and stuff, when you have a very shallow depth of field and you're looking at a picture, the the person who's watching the footage and then listening and trying to make the connection, they can't really focus on what you're showing them, which is why you have to show the picture in its entirety when you're talking about that specific thing. Now, if you have a lot of different angles, then maybe you can play around with it. And this is what I did virtually in a half-calf series when I talked about Celeste and 12 Minutes and Sonic also, Sonic did that too. I always had like some sort of virtual camera that would look at a virtual TV. I wanna to return to that formula because the formula works out well, but the virtual space is so, so slow to work with. And cameras are instant. Cameras, I can set up a picture, I can see the whole thing that's happening, press record, capture it, and I'm done. Whereas if I wanna do this virtually, I've got to get the clip first, we'll edit it to a length, put it inside of After Effects, and put that clip inside of a pre-comp, and then position my camera, animate the camera. <laughs> it takes so long to basically just get one clip. And if I do a template, which I did for the Sonic video, that's not a whole lot of fun. Now with the camera, if I had all of this set out as like a set that I could actually move around a TV with a camera, then it would work. The reason why I didn't do that in the Inside Out Gaming is because I was just in my apartment. I couldn't build a set in my apartment. It's a pretty small space and my wife has to live there too. I can't just, hey, this is, this is my space now. I can't do that. Thankfully, I do have some other space that I can build my, my studio in. I just got a CRT TV, a pretty big one for free off of Facebook, which is pretty cool. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this into a full-on set and revisit the same type of virtual camera movement, except this time it's going to be real. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. This is part of the iteration process, and this is one of the reasons why I didn't record this update video. Hopefully this weekend, set up that, that set. So that's what's been going on with that video. Jesus. Thanks so much, you guys, for continuing to watch. Uh, where is Joe? I don't know where Joe is. Thank you.